What's up, guys? Amster Knows Hoops back with another video. And today, you guys, we are with a very, very, very reactionary video right now. As we speak right now, I just saw that D'Angelo Russell is moved to the Los Angeles Lakers, in which now they basically fleeced, fleeced the Timberwolves. I don't know what the Timberwolves are doing, you guys. Looking at this trade right now on from Shams, I don't understand logically where their thought process is. They're giving up their guy in D'Lo, who has been really turning it around for them, to then get Mike Conley back. And I love Mike Conley, and I think Mike Conley could be a good facilitator for this team. But he doesn't bring a scoring boost that you might need because, again, you still have Rudy. And as great as Ant can be, he could be a little consistent. And Cat and Cat is still out, and we don't know how long he's going to be out for. And now Russ is going to the Jazz. Now, in, in all realisticness, I don't think he actually stays in Utah because we know that relationship is a little distraught to say the least. But to be honest with you guys, the Lakers might be back into a real push. Now, I said in my earlier prediction video about the plan that they might be a playing team. And this team really should be making a big push now. You have Malik Beasley, Jared Vanderbilt, and D'Lo. This gives so much that the Lakers needed. They have much more wing depth. You add D'Lo to who could be a much better and more consistent scorer than someone like Russ. You can give up the, the ball to LeBron. Now, D'Lo is the only piece where I sit there and I do question how the fit works. But to be honest, it's just such an upgrade for this team. And the Jazz basically get their pick which they obviously want because they're tanking or, you know, at least they're not competing. And at that point, I don't know why Minnesota is even entertaining this deal. You did not need to move D'Angelo Russell for Mike Conley in a second round pick. You did not redeem overpaying for Rudy Gobert. You do not redeem all the mistakes you've made in the past year and a half. I don't quite get what this move does for them. But for the Lakers, I honestly believe that this might be the move they need. As we sit here right now, and guys, again, this is very reactionary. Usually I have all this research and done stuff done ahead. But right now you're getting D-Law when he's shooting about 39% from three on seven a game, which is going to be huge for the Lakers to get them spacing for Braun and AD. He's shooting 47% from the field, which so far is actually his career, almost, it is his career high by far. And he's shooting the least he's ever shot almost in his career aside from his first two seasons and even then that's huge if you're lebron or ad because now you got a guy who can space shoot and now you really might be back into that contending picture especially considering now steph's out for however many weeks the west is super weak Kyrie and we don't know how Kyrie and luca are going to work we actually will at like 10 o'clock eastern but that's a different story and guys this is crazy this is one of the biggest trade deadlines because now we have a team who might win from like, they can't really do nothing. But now they might be doing everything. And guys, I want to take this from the Jazz's perspective real quick. And obviously we just talked about the Lakers a lot. Well, the Jazz were smart. Now, I don't know if they necessarily should have given up Vanderbilt and Beasley for just the one first. I think they could have definitely gotten another first or maybe some of those seconds that Minnesota got. But... Here's the thing. I think they're going to buy out Russ. I don't think they're going to keep that contract around. And I think we also know, again, Russ's relationship with the Jazz as a franchise is uh, very suboptimal, to say the least. And to me, I think they're probably going to let him go. I think they're smart for this move, obviously. They're getting more picks, which is what they want. And now I need Minnesota. We need to have a talk. Like, like, this is like therapy right now. Come take a seat. Sit right across from me. What the hell are you guys doing? Who do you think you're fighting for right now? I, I love Mike Conley. And I even talked about in my Jazz video how important Mike Conley was to that Jazz team starting off like they did. But he's an inferior scorer. He's a superior playmaker in some aspects. But he's much worse off the ball. So are you really just buying in on Ant? Are you hoping that the Utah chemistry between him and Rudy is going to get him more involved on the offensive end? To be honest, I don't quite understand Minnesota's move. And this is why, again, this is what I'm talking about. When I made that play-in video and I said they might be the odd team out, this is why. I do not understand why you make this move if you're the Minnesota Timberwolves. You could have sat at home 
and you would have been perfectly okay as they traded Russ for those two forwards and they still might not have competed. But now you're helping a team that's in the same range as you possibly get better than you, take your spot in from the play-in, and now you're crap out of luck sitting at home with no first-rounders for the foreseeable future because you put in your money on Rudy Gobert when you didn't need to do that either because you drafted Walker Kessler and that would have worked out just fine. But no, you guys really had to show that you thought you had the big brain of the operation. That Nuggets GM really had to try and show, I drafted Jokic, I, I know what I'm doing. I just feel bad for Minnesota, but you guys, at some point, you all deserve your luck because this is terrible. If I'm the Lakers, Rob Polinka, excellent move. You did what you needed to. This team can now fight for something, especially if the West stays this tight for this long. But guys, this is a more reactionary video for me, so it's going to be a little bit shorter. I wanted to go on my little rant tirade update, so you all know. As always, guys, this is Emster Notes Hoops. Leave a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think down below. Have a good one. Peace.